Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Viable live data analysis of complete data with free software. In this video, we will illustrate procedure to perform viable live data analysis with a free open source software. The prices of most reliability analysis software are very high and that is exactly the reason why I want to show you this website which is completely free of cost. The name of the website is Reliability Analytics Toolkit. Link to this website is provided in the description of this video. We recommend viewers to watch our previous videos related to this subject before watching this video. Links are provided in the description of this video. Hello friends, here are the instructions to download our reliability data file. Please go to our website world-class-quality.com. This is our website. On the top you will see the downloads section. Click on the downloads link and you will find the reliability data link. Click on that and you should be able to download it. It's a zip folder containing the reliability data file. Now you will need to analyze the data using the open source website Reliability Analytics Toolkit. We will provide now instructions to go to this website. To access this open source website that analyzes lot of reliability data and provides many useful reliability tools. Just type in reliability analytics toolkit in Google search so that you will reach this website. So this is the reliability analytics toolkit and these are all the tools that are available and this is completely open source and free of cost. So there is active redundancy with repair, with repair viable. There are so many procedures available. So this is the page that you need to access. If you want to perform the Webull analysis, you have to click on the Webull analysis choice. It says, given time to fill your data, this tool performs a Webull data analysis to determine Webull shape parameter beta and characteristic life eta. So click on that. We will now illustrate the procedure to perform Webull analysis for complete data. We will use a sample data from the downloaded file reliability data. I have opened the reliability data file. The first worksheet in the file is reliability data point mtw and we will use data from example 1 which is complete data. In complete data, we know the time to failure of each of the component being tested or in field. So this is the data time and status. The status F means failed. Copy the data as shown. Go to the website reliability analytics toolkit and go to Webull analysis. I'll show it again. So this is your website reliability analytics toolkit. Scroll down. You will see the command procedure Webull analysis. Click on that. So this is the procedure. There are instructions available how to use it. There is a box here where we have to paste the data and I'm just deleting the data which is already existing in the software and I'm pasting our data with control V command. So it has copied the data directly from Excel. Now you have to make some choices in the options. The summary table also click on the increment order table so that you will know the median ranks etc. Add then plots, check all the plots, Webull, capital F of T, which is the cumulative failure function, reliability of T, which is the survival function, small f of T, which is the probability density function, H of T is the hazard function, failure timeline also you can put. The parameters used for plot, we will first use RRX. The MLE stands for maximum likelihood estimate. 
and this is the RRX is the rank regression X on Y. We have explained this concept in one of the earlier videos. So we will use RRX and then time is F10 that means it will show you the 10% uh, B10 life or F10 life which means 90% reliability point and that's it. Click on calculate and you will see the increment table which shows which has sorted the data in ascending order from 9 to 5024 the 20 failures the increment for failure mode 111 the failure order and then whether failed or survived failure frequency is 1 cumulative frequency 1 to 20 capital F of T is the median rank actually that it has already calculated then ln of time t and the plotting positions and below that you will see the parameter estimates we had chosen rrx method to estimate parameters in the options the beta parameter with rrx is 0.83 while as if we had chosen rry it would have been 0.79 which is a small difference and we shouldn't worry too much about this small difference we can see the parameter estimate using the MLE method as well and you can see that the point estimate of the shape parameter is 0.94 with lower confidence bound of 0.66 and upper confidence bound of uh, 1.33. The characteristic life eta is estimated at 1241.19. Here it says because the sample size is greater than or equal to 15, it says MLE is considered more accurate. Dr. Robert Abernethy recommends a sample size of 21 and more to use maximum likelihood estimate methods. Below that, he recommends the least square estimates. As we scroll down, we can see the table of calculations made by the software and below that, we will see the variable probability plot. The software also shows the upper confidence limit and lower confidence limit and it also shows two gray points, two or three gray points the first one shows the F10 life which is about uh, 84 which corresponds to reliability of 0.9. Then it shows the mean life in the second uh, gray point. The mean life is shown as uh, 1419.61. We can also see the characteristic life 1281 on the graph which is also seen above the graph wherein it shows the values of uh, beta parameter and the uh, scale parameter. Uh, with the RRX method. The y-axis on the left side of the graph is the cumulative probability of failure capital F of T in percentage from 0.1 to 99.9 .9, while as the y-axis on the right side shows reliability at time T which varies from 99.9 .9 to 0.1. If we scroll down further we can see the unreliability plot or capital F of T. The middle graph is the uh, is the estimated value of f of t and then there are confidence intervals upper confidence uh, limit and lower confidence limit further scrolling down shows the reliability plot or the survival function again the middle plot is the estimated reliability plot and then you got upper confidence limit and lower confidence limit the blue points show the characteristic life and the mean values Again, probability density function PDF plot is also shown here. And then you got the timeline of expected failures. This is just showing at what time failures are occurring. And then finally, there is a hazard plot, which looks like the left tail of the bar curve. curve. So the equations also it has given the beta value is 0.83, eta value is 1281 reliability at time t equals e to the power minus t upon eta raised to beta. It has also given interestingly the excel best equation and time is entered in cell A2. So if we entered this in time in A2 we will get the value of reliability. So if you want to use this you can open a new excel sheet. And in A2 cell, enter the value of uh, time, let us say 500. And I enter this equation here. 
So it says reliability is 0.63 there at 500. For time of 1000, reliability is 0.442 and for 100, it is 0.88. And if you see, the beaten life was given here at uh, 84.05. So if you want to put 84.05 here, it should show 0 0.1, 0 0.9. Yeah, it shows 0 0.899, that is 0.9. So, uh, it gives a beautiful calculator also, which you can directly paste on, paste in Microsoft Excel. So, this is a very nice open source software. One of the limitations uh, of this is it, uh, you cannot select the distribution that is the good fit for your particular data. Like uh, softwares like Minitab or Webel++, they will show you which distribution is the best fit. But in many cases, finally, we tend to choose Webull. So this works in most cases. So I would say that if you are using this software, you should look at the probability plot and whether the points are near the straight line. In this video, we have explained how to perform Webull analysis of complete data using an open source free software from the website Reliability Analytics Toolkit. Hope you liked our video. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Quality Engineering.